Well, hello, Lena. Do up. You're all well. Sorry for laughing, but now is this mad bad Brexit? Are really unhappy with the answer he received from Peter Kyle after this protocol build debate, I suppose, was happening? It happened just after our Sir Bill Cash board finally asked his question that was about three years too late. Up steps. DUP's Ian Paisley Jr. to ask him to give way and he decided because he wanted to have his tuppence worth in and say something and uh, let's just say I don't think he was too happy with the re reply he received <laughs> that it made now of course I'll give way thank the member uh, for giving way um, and I'll pin to the member I mean, the member can use this opportunity to stand here and slag off the government um, slagging off they probably deserve but it's not going to solve the problem. Can the, can the leader of the opposition today in this debate confirm that he will support those clauses that will fix the problem? Uh, I certainly am supporting the clauses that I'm putting forward, which I believe will go some way to fixing the problem. And of course, I will, in his words, slag off the government and the Prime Minister, because it's the Prime Minister that went to the people of Northern yeah, Ireland and absolutely. promised over his dead body would there be a border in Northern Ireland, in the Irish Sea, there's no point sighing and uh, having that disconsolate look on your face. You guys got yourselves into bed with this uh, extreme Brexit Tory government. And, and as far as I was concerned, you all knew what you were voting for. Went home and then delivered it. Yeah. So I will be critical of the government that treated Northern Ireland in the manner in which it did. Now, I do accept... I do accept that the DUP and others in the unionist community opposed the protocol from the beginning and they oppose it now. They have been consistent, yeah. while the Conservative Party has not. I certainly won't be giving way to somebody who didn't show the courtesy to be here for the whole debate. Uh, no, I will not give way, because if the, if the, honourable, gen if the honourable gentleman uh, really was committed to this issue, he wouldn't have walked in halfway through and started intervening on people. Actually, the time to be here was at the beginning, and then to be here in time to make a speech. I will give way and then I'll make some progress because I really am very keen to hear other people too. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that face. Face you could chop mates on. <laughs> He's not happy, is he? <laughs> well, you guys grabbed hold of the coattails of this extreme Brexit Tory government after Brexit and then you carried on uh, following the coattails of a lying charlatan of a Prime Minister who's now thrown you under the Brexit bus. You know, like he's done with the whole country as well, eh? So, shit happens. <laughs> but I love that face. <laughs> if, uh, looks like he's just lost a tenner and found 50 pence. <laughs> <laughs> right, I do hope you enjoy the video and uh, until the next time I shall bid you farewell and take care.